Sorry it's just a little bit shaky. But if you ever had a kilowatt meter go out, I had one go out whenever I had a big load on it. And after some probing, let me see if I can zoom in here. It's this here part right here that went out. Now I found you can order these here off eBay, kind of cheap, but they're in Taiwan. They only carry 15 amps, they're 240 volt AC. Uh, I got some on the way, but because they're from overseas, it'll take a long time, about a month to get here. And then we'll verify that it's working. In the meantime, also, I ordered one of these really cheap ones off eBay. See how well they work. And as you can see, I only have like the shop lights running off of it right now. Sometimes, like the angles are kind of hard to read, especially when you're going off the sign, uh, modified sign inverter. But it looks like off to the right, it's usually the best angle to have them read. One good feature I do like about this, let me move some wires out of the way. Apologize about the shaky camera. You can go through and see how many kilowatts it has used over the time, what hertz and volts, the total amps, the watts of the low peak, and the watts of the high peak. They do have a nice little reset button. You can also program some other stuff in there. I have not read the manual yet. Yeah, my shed needs lots of cleaning. I'm going to be redoing lots of stuff this year. Spring, so stay tuned. Got uh, also a grid tie inverter coming in. Because my batteries, as you can see, are full and my charge controller is just in float. I'm trying to use up some electricity on um, just a little fan circulating here. That's not going too well. I'm also going to be redoing all the wires with plenty of little cutoff switches and fuses. So subscribe, stay tuned. More coming this way.